Right within the settings for your Gmail account, you can create a signature and even include images as part of that signature. And it'll look pretty good, like what you see here on the screen for me. But what you can't do is have the images next to the text. I can't move this image up here next to my names. And this does not make for the best look and feel uh, for my signature, and especially if you have certifications where you want to add the images for those, um, then they're just all going to be stacked in a long uh, column going down the page uh, for your signature. So there's a workaround for that issue, and that is to create your signature in a Google Doc. So I have a Google document, and I recommend if you're going to do this that you name your document, like mine, Gmail Signatures, then it'll be really easy for you to find um, if you want to update it and make new signatures. Uh, so um, go ahead and do that. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to insert a table. And in my case, I'm just going to make it two um, columns and one row. If I wanted to add more images underneath it, then I might add in more rows. But I'm just going to do two columns, one row, and I'm going to actually grab this middle uh, line and I'm going to click and drag it over to make the first column uh, narrower than the second column. And this is where I'm going to insert the image. So I'm going to go uh, ahead and find an image, but you might want to use a Bitmoji. It would be fun to do seasonal Bitmojis or holiday Bitmojis to correspond with what's happening on the calendar and update your signature frequently. You could use a professional um, image of yourself, a photograph. Uh, you can use logos for your district or your school. I'm going to go ahead and make myself a signature for REMC 17. So when I'm doing business for REMC, I will have a different signature. So I'm going to um, click insert an image and I'm going to upload from the computer my REMC 17 logo. So I'm going to search for that. And here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And now I have that and I can click in here and I can resize it, make it a little smaller. I can move this over closer. And in the second column, I want to enter my signature information that's text-based. So I'm going to go ahead, I think I have that on a, a paste, and hopefully you can just paste that in here. So now I can start to adjust this even more. Maybe I want this image a little bit smaller. Maybe I want to uh, space this down a little bit, um, make that even a little bit smaller and see that that looks pretty good. What I don't want to have is I don't want to have these lines of the table uh, visible uh, when I bring the signature into my Gmail. Now there's a whole variety of ways in which you can get rid of them, but we're going to just use a quick and easy way. So you're going to hold down the shift key and you're going to click on each line on the table to select it. And you'll know it's been selected because it'll get that blue highlighting. I'm just going to select all of them. And then I'm going to go up to the border weight, the border width, and I'm going to make it zero. So they're virtually invisible. And now when I click off of my signature, I don't see any of the lines of the table, but the table is still holding everything in the correct place so it won't jump around and put the image in some awkward place right in the middle of my name or something like that. So now I'm going to copy this and bring it into my Gmail. So I can go up to edit and choose copy or I can use keyboard shortcuts. Any way that I want to, I want to copy this. And now I'm going to go into Gmail. And in Gmail, I'm going to get rid of this message. And we're going to go into the settings, which is this icon here. And the first time you click it, you'll get some quick settings, but you want to see all settings. So go ahead and click that. And then you need to scroll down until you see where the signature area is. And here is the signature. You have, uh, you can edit existing signatures like my OS signature, but here's where you can create a new one. So you could have 
you know, as many as you want in here and switch between them. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one, and I'm going to call this my REMC17 uh, signature, and I'm going to create it. And now I have the um, text box where I can paste. I'm going to paste in my signature that I made, and it still looks good. So now I have to save it, and it's not right here. You actually have to scroll down to the bottom of the page and save the changes. And now when I come in to compose a new message, here's my little insert signature icon. And when I click it, I can choose from the various signatures that I have saved. And I can go ahead and I can add in my RMC17 signature, which I think looks a lot better than my OS signature where the image has to be either on top or underneath. So um, I hope that you will enjoy making attractive signatures and even perhaps adding different certifications below. Um, quick, easy, and very professional uh, look for you.